it's really become my musical home in New York City. It may, in fact, have been the first place I ever played in the city. It feels like a sort of home for me in New York. I've considered it really my, my musical home. I feel very at home and softly text. Well, the Y has been very significant to me over the years. Um, I've been f performing here for the last five or six years. It's amazing, you know, I can sort of measure where my career and my life and my feelings about music were by, you know, these various landmarks that I've had for the Y. When I was a student in my teens, I used to come up to New York to hear the Budapest String Quartet in this hall. The Budapest Quartet, who were the trailblazers here from Europe, and the fact that they played in this hall and played a Beethoven cycle, it's very uh, inspiring for us and a great honor. So when we look at this hall and we uh, enjoy the acoustic and see the wood, it, it's, you sense the, the history of the place. This hall has all the right qualities. I claim that the, the wood has something that awakens attention. It enables you to feel comfortable, to feel at home. There are so few good acoustics Chamber Music Hall uh, in uh, New York City. And uh, in our opinion, this is one of the best Chamber Music Hall. In fact, it has a lot of space. We have 900 seats in the hall. But you, don't, you feel, when I let people guess how many seats we have, they usually say 300, 400. I think the hall at the 92nd Street Y is one of the great halls. And the reason for that is the kind of intimacy that you have between performer and audience and the ability to communicate on such a direct level, which is really what music is all about. This particular place has such a tradition. And so sitting on this stage all these years, I've always felt so much like I became a part of this, uh, you know, this tradition and uh, it's very meaningful and it's very, very special. There was one year that we participated in a children's outreach program here at the Y and uh, we did several programs during a week where school children were bussed in. There was a, a big uh, projection of Mozart's face on, on the wall as part of a, a slideshow. And uh, when the kids came in, they started pointing and shouting, Mozart, Mozart, you know? And, and uh, at that point, uh, I really felt, uh, I, I felt proud that the Y had been able to reach kids in that manner. I love playing for children. I mean, I wouldn't do it unless I enjoyed it. I don't think, of course, I, it's educational, but I don't think educational, ooh, I'm doing something good. I do it because I enjoy it, because I love playing for them, and I love capturing their imagination with great music. That's a thrill. And my life has been so completely enriched by classical music. I want to pass that on. The 92nd Street Y is a fabulous um, place for education in music and the arts. And um, one of the reasons that makes it so fabulous is this idea of combining the arts with curriculum and with education as well. Uh, my group, Bash the Trash, we're about building musical instruments, but we're also about the science of sound. We're about the environment and recycling as well. And I think that that's one of the things that the Y does so well. They bring in guest artists from other disciplines and combine it with their educational mission. You know, when you taste something great for the first time and just say, oh, it's great, it's a wonderful experience. And then you taste it second time and you know more and your taste becomes more refined. By the time you kind of know how to enjoy it, you ask new questions. This is a gift. This is really the real riches that nobody can take you. You can't lose it on the stock market. You take it with you for life. One of the many strengths that the Y has is the ability to program in such a way that um, certain pieces of music shed light on other pieces, certain art forms shed light on other art forms. So there's a kind of multidisciplinary approach to programming, which I think is brilliant. And I think the audience here knows that that's the kind of programming that the Y has and knows the caliber of artists who come here to perform. And they come with a thirst for music, with an excitement for art. 
even if I just come to play a concert or to, to, to go to a concert, somehow in the atmosphere of the place I'm very much aware of, of the interdisciplinary aspect of the wife. There is a feeling of the wise being a real center of ideas, and you know, I don't know, I find places like that very, very attractive. You know, literature is going on here, and poetry, everything, ideas are being discussed here by famous political figures, and music is being played. It's a very nice mixture. It is definitely affordable both intellectually and fiscally, but it's not looking down on people. There is the possibility of really direct encounter with the arts. It's, it's important just about anywhere, anywhere you go to, to, to try to challenge audiences anywhere. In a way, it's what keeps the art going. It, it's, it's what feeds the, the creative process. Uh, the great thing here is a special relationship that we have with the Y and especially with Hannah Geifman. Well, working with Hannah is really an experience. <laughs> I don't think I know any person in, in music that has the energy and the enthusiasm and, uh, you know, she's just a fireball, a dynamo. She's sort of a life force, you know, she has more energy than, you know, anyone I know basically, and more ideas and more passion. She truly loves music, she truly loves musicians, and she has a real vision for what it means to present concerts in New York City. She really tries to draw on on all aspects of life and, and to really appeal to, let's say, every human being rather than just a select select bunch and she does that in such a, a natural and uncomplicated way. I can't believe that she's already been here 10 years. This is, this is her 10th year and I can't believe, I mean it just seems like yesterday really. It's a wonderful gift. It is a great exchange that awakens ideas. This is almost the most significant thing, the creativity, the innovation even within the traditional. It's great 10 years for great, great music, but maybe it's the beginning of additional 10 years for even greater music. <laughs>